never get lonely. I got these goals to keep me company. I took the rear view off of this so forth. I'm a member of a club I never even wanted to join. I too am a mom of an angel baby. We lost our son under very different circumstances, but the loss is there. My son Logan died when he was hit by a car two days after he turned 16 while on a dirt bike. Unfortunately, his accident was his own fault as he did not stop and look when he left the driveway of the family farm. The other sad thing is that he was friends with the young man that hit him. Like your family, we made decisions to do organ donation with our son. He knew and understood what organ donation Don donation was and he would have made that same decision you're probably wondering about this strange gift that i've given you a box a notebook and a pencil there's a story there when my son died i would go and visit him at the grave but i couldn't see him or and i found it hard to talk to him i would keep a picture in my purse but it didn't always bring it i wrote him notes sometimes but they would always blow away one day i brought a box a notebook and a couple of pictures and a pen. I wrote to my son about how much I missed him, how mad I was at him for leaving, about the memories of him playing hockey as a baby and camping and hunting. But I left the box beside the grave thinking it would be there when I came back. Well, it was, but there was a surprise next time I came back. He had other visitors and they left notes too. from other people wrote to him, his grandma, his aunts, friends, teammates, even strangers. I found messages from people I would never have guessed to stop by. New pictures were left and I made me feel so much better. Other people remembered him, cared enough to stop and leave those messages. These messages helped me along the way throughout the years and I hope that it can help you. Add a couple of pictures of your baby child and leave it there. When you stop by, write to him. Go back through the notebook and talk to him as if he was right there with you. It helps. It's also wonderful to read messages from other people. Just stop and by. Let your family know and encourage them to do the same. I have given these to others over the years. This one is for you. Many blessings. And Miss Jen sent this. The box, the notebook, and the pencil. I don't think I have ever been given anything more simple and thoughtful in my entire life because sometimes I do feel that nobody could possibly hurt like me and I might be selfish. I thank you, Miss Jen, with all my heart.